Let's measure the DC resistance of the transformer, power transformer that is, going through the on-off switch back to the uh, power plug. And you can see we've got some very high DC resistance, 41K, and now over one meg. So probably the on-off switch itself is uh, dirty and or defective. Let me bypass the uh, line cord and let's just go to the switch itself and back to the uh, transformer, see what we measure. See nine ohms when we're bypassing the switch. So I think we're gonna be in good shape there. Looks like the problem definitely lies between the on-off switch and the uh, primary side of the transformer. Again, you can see we're all over the place, bypassing the uh, switch, 9.1 ohms. I'll come back to it in just a moment, but one thing I was wrong about over the number of tubes in this receiver, there's actually seven. And I think this production run definitely is earlier than the schematic that I had originally referenced, in addition to the model number that I showed in the video itself, intro video. The cabinet appears to be the same, but again, the chassis layout is just slightly different. I'll touch base on that in just a moment, and also look for an updated video description with the uh, tube complement as well. You can see it was common back in the uh, early to mid 1930s to use a bias cell. And in this case, it attaches to the type 75 tube and creates the uh, negative bias for that tube. So we'll have to look at uh, re-engineering that. I've done that in the past. I think we can do that instead of putting a uh, replacement cell in place. Before I get sidetracked, let me flip this thing around and let's go ahead and look at the uh, tube complement, what was installed and what's in here, and a new schematic that I found that's a better reference for the uh, receiver itself, I believe. And for those following along, I'll update the video description and the playlist with the uh, correct tube numbers as well. The rectifier tube here, the Type 80, was missing. So I've got plenty of Type 80 tubes. We'll find another good one when that time comes and uh, get that placed in the uh, Type 41 output tube. The uh, 75 and the 76 tube is used, so the first audio tube is the uh, 75. In the later design, reduce the uh, tubes by one in the uh, latter models. And uh, of course that keeps the cost down and increases the uh, profits. So we've got the uh, 75, 76, and you see they actually have tube shields on those to uh, minimize any oscillations. Let me uh, flip this around and we'll look at the uh, two remaining tubes, or actually there's three. If you count the uh, green eye, or what they refer to as the electric tube, you can see a 6 Echo 5 was used as the green eye tube. It's extremely loose at the base, so I have no idea if the tube itself will function. Clean it up and try to do some uh, spot adhesive on it and see if we can get the base reattached to the glass and do some testing on that one. One thing interesting, the uh, tube itself goes into an adapter that's held in place as such. And you can see the piece here that's mounted to the uh, wooden cabinet itself. And this just uh, pushes in. And that's what holds the uh, green eye tube and of course the other two remaining tubes, the uh, 6 Delta 6, used as the uh, IF amplifier. You can see it resides in the center of the two IF transformers, which makes sense. And then your first uh, oscillator tube 
the six alpha seven resides here by the uh, antenna coil. So it's a pretty good layout as far as the uh, signal path, as you can see. We bring our RF in, we create our oscillator signal. Of course, the oscillator ties back to the uh, dual tuning condenser. And then we tune the uh, IFs here. I think the IFs for this particular receiver are 465 kilocycles. And then we detect the audio signal and amplify the audio signal back over to the uh, loudspeaker. Let's look at the secondary windings of the transformer in circuit. You can see I'm using my uh, tube socket adapter. It makes it uh, very convenient for doing this. Looking across uh, pans one and four, you can follow along in the picture-in-picture uh, -picture on the schematic. And again, I just want to read DC resistance there across the uh, secondary. And you see it's reading about 0.1, 0.2 ohms. That's what you would expect to see. So I'm not calling it good, but uh, initially the uh, DC resistance looks good. Let's move over to the uh, plates themselves and look at those windings back from uh, pins two and three. See what we read there. Okay, you can see we're reading uh, 682 ohms. So theoretically, we could just split that in half. That's what we would expect to see from uh, each winding back to uh, center tap, uh, plus or minus 10%. You guys remember the uh, second winding on the transformer is wound on top of the other winding, so there's more wire length. Thus, the uh, DC resistance is always higher. But the number of turns should be equal to give you the uh, correct balanced AC voltage on the output side. Let me uh, find a, a good place to tie into the uh, center tap. I'll point this out on the schematic, but you can see I've got my uh, ground lead here attached to uh, location number six on the uh, transformer, which is tapped with these uh, lugs. Makes it pretty cool for uh, troubleshooting. I'll flip the uh, chassis over. And again, we'll leave this connected to this point and just measure across both plates to look at DC resistance and make sure they're uh, somewhat close. All right, 336. And you can see 345. So again, the uh, preliminary test on the uh, transformer, the high voltage side, looks good. Let's look at the uh, heater voltage over to the uh, rest of the uh, tube complement and uh, make sure that we're good there. We don't have an open. We should be reading somewhere between um, probably 0.2 to 0.4 ohms or so of DC resistance. Yeah, I think our heater string is good as well for the uh, 6.3 volts. Again, we'll extrapolate the voltage off the transformer later on. Again, once I get the transformer off the chassis, we'll do some additional uh, detail testing. Look at the uh, lead dress to make sure there's no uh, issues there safety-wise. In addition, uh, do some DC measurements itself back to the uh, housing itself of the uh, transformer and try to better understand some of the other tap locations that are available on this particular transformer as well.